Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Uh, the reading will go over how you feel about your person and how your person feels about you. We'll also get some advice um, and then we'll go into career and finance. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. How does Aquarius feel about the person that they're coming to the reading for? Okay. Um, platonic is coming out here. So maybe you feel like um, all you have room for for this person is maybe a platonic relationship. Um, let's see. You feel like, yeah, domination. Maybe you feel like uh, if, if you give any more or you give anything else, this person will try to dominate the relationship. They'll try to force you into more, into maybe something physical. Yep, and then lust comes out. They'll try to force you into that because they're a fast thinker. So it seems as if you try to keep something platonic so you don't have to turn this person down or you have already done that. Um, let's see, how else does Aquarius feel about this person? All right. um, you feel like they are resourceful and maybe this is why you keep them around, um, but there is separation between the two of you. Let's see how this person feels about you, Aquarius. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Okay, so you feel like uh, FMO or FOMO, fear of um, missing out. You feel like they won't make the commitment, they won't make the change in their life because uh, fear that they'll miss out on something else or someone else. Uh, I heard that this person is older too. They shouldn't be in that energy. They should be in the energy of expansion, moving forward, thriving, you know, life changes. So let's see, how does this person feel about Aquarius okay so maybe they feel like you are in fear of missing out um maybe that's why you keep them around I'm sorry they feel like with you Aquarius there's no compromise okay it's either your way or the highway or maybe they feel like you have really high standards um, Aquarius this person feels like maybe you had sex with their friend or friends or um you were trying to keep somebody as a friend um or you're trying to keep someone that you used to have sex with as a friend here Let's see, how does this person feel about the Aquarius? Um, so this person feels like um, ghosting happens. Like you get mad or something and you ghost. They feel like maybe you have another person that you deal with, you go back to. They feel like you're straight up stalking them, but they feel like there is, um, you know, su seductivity or you, I don't know if that's the word, you're seductive, okay? They feel like um, there's an energy of, you know, you being sexy or you know how to seduce maybe even seduced with your words here, straight up stalking. So they feel like maybe um, you are stalking them, maybe energetically or um, maybe even through the tarot or asking around. Um, they feel like you know things that you should not know, okay? Um, let's get some advice for Aquarius here. What is, okay, that first card came out. A fiery climax approaches. So yes, you guys will see each other again. Maybe you will have sex. Maybe you won't. Maybe there will be an argument. Maybe there will be a blow up, a fight. But a climax here, something goes up. You know, something's taken up here. It says, show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius here. Um, so it's about really showing off uh, who you are, the unconventional side, um, the quirky side, the um, spontaneous side, the... Uh, the humanitarian show who you really are Aquarius um, because as it looks as if um, this person likes it and maybe you might even get more eyes on you Aquarius this person feels like you're very sexy so it's like you have they feel like you have other options it's funny how you have FOMO on your side so this person feels like um, you have the energy of fear of missing out maybe some of you won't make the commitment to them okay or you won't make the commitment of uh, separating from someone else, Aquarius. Um, let's see what the cards have to say for Aquarius in terms of, in terms of uh, career finance. Okay, first card out. Guardian angels, very nice. Infinite support is here, okay? So your guardian angels, this turns into an 11, 12, sorry, um, is helping you create, okay? Helping you get in an energy of being more creative they're supporting your creative endeavors uh, it's time for you to make a move here uh whatever this may be whether it is career whether it is an entrepreneurial endeavor or creating a new opportunity within a 
a company structure, um, uh, expansion, asking for a raise, uh, communicating. Um, you are a magnet, Aquarius. You are a money magnet. Harness the power within you, okay? You can attract uh, what is due unto you. I'm going to pull one card, one last card for um, relationship here for Aquarius. Keep the faith here is what, what uh, the cards are saying. Maybe it's not going to work with this person and maybe that's why you're keeping them at bay in terms of um, them being platonic. Um, but keep the faith. Yeah, memories keep you tied to this person, but forgiveness needs to happen on both sides, okay, so that you can move on. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Let's put some butterflies down there. If you see, if you can put butterfly emojis down there, that would be great because there's transformation happening for the Aquarius in career and finance and in love and romance here. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. All links are below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. All right, take care.